How to get Stripe virtual card. Hi there, in this video, we will learn how you will be able to create or get your own virtual card here in Stripe. So, the first thing that you'll need to do is sign in to your Stripe account. You can open your web browser and just go to dashboard.stripe.com and then you will be able to log in or sign in into your account. Once you're signed in, this is what it would look like. You will be routed into the homepage. All you have to do is to go to the more icon and then go under banks as a service. Under issuing, you will see there's a card creation. That is where you'll be able to get a Stripe virtual card. So all we have to do here is click on issuing. When we will click on issuing, there are a few details that we need to create or fill out so that you will be able to start creating your own card. Or you can also use the search box as well to search for cards and then issuing will come up as well. So issuing cards here, this are the few details where you need to create so that you will have a card that is issued instantly here from Stripe. So first is that you need to add funds to your issuing balance. And the next would be create a card holder. You just need to click on the create a card holder button. But let's start with the second step here, where when you will add a balance, there's a few informations here that you, um, how much your used balance is, the upcoming payouts to your bank, and if you want to add an account, you just simply click on the add account button and then here you will input your card, your account holder name, your routing number, your account number, and you just need to confirm your account number. Once everything has been filled out, you just need to click on add bank account and then that would be added into your bank account information here into your profile. So going back to the issuing, let's click on more and then go to issuing. Since we already run through how to add funds into your issuing balance, next is we create a card holder. Click on that button and then here what you'll need to do is add or input your name that you will place into your card. Next is you will need to add your billing address and then your phone number. So here you need to choose what country you are from. Here you just need to scroll into the countries or the options until you find your country. And then from here, what you can do is input the address. For example, we have United States. You just need to input the address here, what state you're from, and your zip code as well. Once all of those has been filled out, you can go ahead and input your phone number. And then you just need to input the cardholder legal name, your date of birth, and then you also need to input or upload your front and back of your government issued ID. But that is optional. If you don't want your government ID uploaded, you don't have to. Here you do, can also add your email address. But that those the government ID, your date of birth, and the email address are optional. You just need to make sure that the other informations are filled out. And then once done, you just click on submit. Once everything has been filled out, here you already have your bank account informations for the card holder. So the next thing that we will do is we need to go to overview right here. Now that we have a card holder information, here you just need to click on overview. And then now that we have created a card holder, next is to create a card and run a test authentication. Click on create card button. And then from here, you need to choose an account holder. And then whether you want a virtual card or a physical card, you can definitely choose between the two. But since what we do here is virtual card, we just need to click or choose a virtual card right here. Click on that. 
And once you click on virtual card, you just need to click on activate card. So it will automatically activate after we have done the authentication. So here, click on the create card button at the lower right corner. And then for me here, now that we already have created a card, we just need to wait until the test run authorization is complete. While that's in progress, we can queue or look into the view issued docs. So these are informations on about the issuing on how you will be able to manage your cards. What are the things that you can do with the virtual card that you have? and the other information in order for you to be guided on how to efficiently use the virtual card here from Stripe. So here you can see that there is already a few details about your card information and as you can see it is now active. And all we have to do is just continue with the authorization here. We just wait for this to load right now. Just click on this and then click on this tab and then you will be able to see this create authorization button. Click on this one and then we just need to click on this plus icon with create test authorization. You need to choose this one right here online and then input the amount and then the other informations are optional. But once all of those are filled out, you can click on submit and then wait for the authorization to complete. And there you have it. Authorization has been done. So this actually was run into your card, which means now that the authorization is done, you will now be able to verify that your card is already active. So you can just click on view cards here you can also have a contact sales if you want to discuss your use case if you have any complaints or if you have any questions about your virtual card right here so here you can see that there's a few information you just click on reveal if you want to re reveal the ccv and the card number completely and just click on hide if you don't want that to be revealed anymore so once you're done using the uh, virtual card information you just need to make sure that you hide or make sure that you don't show these information to anyone so that your stripe account here would be safe and that's basically it that's how you will be able to get a stripe virtual card here using stripe on your web browser and that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching bye